Hi, everybody. My name is Brooke Schreier, and I work with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters and the Evading Species Awareness Program. Today, I'm here showing you a European buckthorn, which is an invasive shrub that was introduced to North America in the 1880s. Most commonly, you'll find buckthorn along roadways, riverbanks, along the edges of mature forests, along the edges of farmer fields, and along hydro corridors. Let's take a look at some of the main characteristics of this invasive shrub. They have these very smooth, oval, dark green leaves with lateral veins that run parallel to the leaf edge. Leaves are finely toothed and are approximately 2.5 to 6 centimeters long. Additionally, what you'll find are these terminal spikes on the end of each branch on the European buckthorn, which can cause, you know, some poking of your limbs and fingers when trying to manage the species. And then in the fall, you'll actually notice these very dark blackberry clusters. And that's when you need to be particularly careful when trying to manage the species because it can be spread very easily via its, its berries. If you scrape the bark with a knife, you'll reveal an orange layer on the cambium. And then finally, you'll see white lenticles visible on the bark. This plant can actually get very tall. So it gets about uh, two to three meters tall. It can actually grow up to about six meters tall. This one right here is about, about five or 15 feet. For management techniques to deal with the European buckthorn, you should check out the best management practices guide that we have that was actually developed uh, in partnership with the Ontario Invasive Plant Council, as well as the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. This guide can actually be accessed on our website, which is www.invadingspecies.com. In addition, if you find this species and you'd like to report it to us so that we can track its distribution within Ontario, you can either call us at 1-800-563-7711, or you can go online to www.eddmaps.org Ontario. Thanks so much. This is Brooke Schreier from the Abating Species Awareness Program.